are there any uh, uh, cool stories that that you can share with us from the from the from the turning of the movie from the movie from best of the best some stuff from behind okay. the scenes that nobody knows <laughs> okay um uh, in best of the best uh you see me in the beginning of the fight you see me do a superman punch yeah exactly Uh, I think from there, everyone else started using the Superman punch. So, so I wasn't aware of it until somebody told me, hey, Simon, you're the one who started the Superman punch now. So I was like, oh, that's cool to know. And um, another thing is that when I was underneath the waterfall, that was winter in and it was so cold. When I came out of there, just mentally and physically, it broke me. And I've never had that happen to me before, where I came out of that waterfall and I just started trembling and I couldn't stop and I started crying. And I was just, it was, I've never been in that state of mind. And that's when my brother came over and gave me a nice, gave me his jacket and gave me a hug and really, really bonded with my brother. Another time it's like, there's a, a a segment where Master Heel Cho you, uses a baseball bat and he hits me in the shin bone and then the baseball bat breaks in half. On one of the take, the broken baseball bat came and hit me straight in my private. Mm. And I, I went down in pain. So of course we didn't use that footage. <laughs> oh no. Does anybody have that footage? I want that I was, footage. I, so do I. So do I. I, don't think, uh, I mean, we, we saw it on the dailies, but I don't think we have that anymore. You know? Oh, it's too bad. Because we always are very prepared. I can say this as a stuntman as well, even though I'm on a different level, obviously. But we are always ready for everything. And then Murphy's Law, why didn't you yep. bring that cup, right? Yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> One yeah. time my stunt coordinator was showing this scene to a... To, uh, to, um, to a very famous actress here in Portugal, and he said, "Okay, then you will knee him in the in the groin." And she said, it, it, "We were just speaking about what we were doing," but she went like like this, pow! And I was like, oh. <laughs> and he said something like, "It's okay, it's okay. Bruno here has a cup, right, bro?" And I was like, "Yes, of course, I have a cup. Don't worry, I have a cup." <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? She was so beautiful that I didn't really care. It's uh, coming from her. It was a compliment. <laughs> so, did did you guys have that kind of hard training? What type of crazy stuff in training did you do when you were youngsters? Like, uh, is is any of the things portrayed in the movie, like those baseball bats and the waterfall and stuff like that, or the trees? Everybody remembers the slow motion in the trees. Did you guys do any of that stuff? Like. Like old school when you were training not 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 to that effect mm -hmm. Th those were all for the movies but i mean i remember as a kid philip and i uh, we had to clean our taekwondo studio in korea and our studio we had a roof and uh, beams and a roof but no windows so yeah. when, when it snowed, all the snow would come inside the studio. And so Philip and I, we would have to the studio, we have to get down on our hands and knees and get this, you know, big old rags. And we have to mop the whole floor before class started. And I remember doing that. And then when we became a teenager, we started seeing all these ninja movies. And one day, when Master Jun Chong wasn't at the studio and the studio was closed, we said, let's turn off all the lights and let's spar. See, we could feel each other's kicks and punches. Needless to say, that didn't go very well. We <laughs> 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 did some, you know, silly things like that. But who won? But who won? Who knows? It was so dark. <laughs> Maybe the furniture one. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 